What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got a deadly duo squad builder. Now, I've done this a couple of times on FIFA 17 and it went down really, really well. So, what I'm going to try and do a couple of times a week is build like a deadly duo strike force or centre back force or full back pairing or midfield pairing. Um... And build a squad around them and do like a squad build around them. So yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see any more of this. And also give me some suggestions for some deadly duos. Which you guys would like to see. a like Maybe potentially even a 7 minute squad build around. Or just a normal squad builder like this. Where I can take care and kind of think about the team a little bit more than I usually would in a 7 minute squad builder. So today, obviously, we have got the man, Gabriel Jesus. And uh, we've also got Human Sun. Um, now, this is actually a fresh Human Sun as well, which I'm quite happy about picking up because I don't think I'm going to sell him. I think I might keep him. Um, so, yeah, obviously these two cards are pretty insane. Let's go ahead and compare the stats. So, Jesus has more pace, uh, but Sun has better shooting and also passing. But Jesus has better dribbling uh, and physical. Jesus is winning on that department as well. Um, but, yeah, this this two, this strike force up top is going to be absolutely insane. I can only see both of these getting better forms and high rated cards as the season goes on um, and potentially some team of the season card between them but it's going to be very interesting I'm now going to go ahead and show you the team that I've built around these two players um, so we're going to go from top to bottom actually so it's going to make things a little bit different we're going to end, be ending with the goalkeeper um, but yeah let me know in the comment section below what team you would build around these two as well. I really want to get your thoughts and, and opinions because um, obviously you guys, whenever I build squads, people are like, oh, maybe you should have put that player in there. Maybe you should, could have used him. So I want to hear what you guys would like to see um, or what, what players you guys would have used and what hybrid you, you would have built with these two players uh, and see what the differences are. So... First things first, let's start with the cam. First of all, we're using the 4 3 1 2 formation, as I'm sure a few of you has, have gathered. I absolutely love this formation. Uh, it's my favourite formation. I sometimes find if I use any other formation, I just can't get into a game. I can't really use it as well. Like, I, I, I would say, in using the 4 3 1 2 formation, I'm like. I'm just a much better player on FIFA. But maybe that constrains me to just using the 4 3 1 2. I don't know. But yeah, you tell me. Anyway, let's go ahead and move into this then. Um, so our cam is going to be, I'm pretty sure a few of you would have guessed it, it's going to be Christian Eriksen. We need a strong link for Human Sun if we're going to be building this into a hybrid. Um, there's not many Korean players that we can go ahead and link off into any other leagues. Whereas with Brazil, you can link off. There's pretty much a Brazilian centre made in every single league. Um, so yeah, well, every single top league I'd say on FIFA. So... We're now going to go ahead and move into the first of the midfielders. The first midfielder is going to be Casemiro. Now, you just cannot go wrong with Casemiro. Eriksen doesn't need another link. Hugo Sun doesn't need another link. But Gabriel Jesus will. And you will be able to see is the player that will link him up very, very shortly. But first of all, Casemiro. Just have a great play on this game. Just does exactly what he says on the tin. 84 defending, 86 physical. You know what you're going to get from him. He's a solid midfielder um, and is a real beast in the machine in that central spot. So moving to the left-hand side, we have got, let's show you now. It is going to be a Brazilian. We're just going to search Brazil instead, actually. Make this a lot easier. Uh, and we're going to go for Alan. I think Alan is actually one of the more underrated players on this game. He's, I think, last year as well, he was pretty underrated. Um... But yeah, he's literally every single stat above 75 apart from his shooting where you're not really going to get that many opportunities with him. But um, yeah, I mean, still he's going to be a great player, uh, potentially going forward as well. I'm pretty sure I've used him quite a few times before and he's been he's been decent in attack as well. Um, so as long as he can pick out a pass, that's all that really matters. He's got high defensive work rate as well, so you're going to have him back most of the time. Um, but if he does get forward, then I'm sure he'll be half decent. Moving on to the right centre mid then. I was kind of struggling for this because um, I wanted to get a perfect link here from a different league, um, which you guys will see kind of with the players that I'm going to be putting in kind of restricts me to only one league or to like some players in here, which I wouldn't really want to put in here because they're not that great. So um, yeah, it kind of restricted me to going back into the BPL for my right centre mid and my right back. But um, yeah, this was one of the better perfect links. I'm not being biased here by putting in Liverpool players, but it was one of the better perfect links that I could have used on the game uh, in the Premier League to go ahead and finish this team off and get full chemistry. So, for that matter, right centre mid, we've got Adam Lallana. Um, yeah, I mean, I would have potentially gone with like Deli Ali and then 
I don't know, I suppose I could, could have gone with Kyle Walker, but I didn't want to include so many Spurs players. We've already got two in there. Let's mix it up. Let's go for someone different. So we've gone for Adam Lallana, who is actually hopefully going to be coming back from injury very, very soon. Um, but yeah, that is my midfield trio. And if you haven't used Adam Lallana on this game yet, I really, really would, would recommend it. He's a great player. And uh, yeah, he will get forward, get back in, in defence. He, he's just a machine. He's got stamina for days, as you know. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the fullbacks then. Right back for the perfect link. Obviously, it's going to be Nathaniel Klein, a great player in this game. Uh, and then we have got the left back here, who I think is just the best fullback on the game like without shadow of doubt like this guy is just incredible and I really do think a lot of you should be using him um, a lot more in your team so we've got Gulam now let me just show you I picked him up for like 30k um, you can pick him up for about 35 37 36 fake basically mid 30k um, and he is so worth your coins I cannot stress it enough like He's incredible. If you don't have enough coins for Alexandro, don't pick up Alexandro. Pick up Gulam. If you want an inform your team, pick up Gulam. Like he's so good. Um, and I'm hopefully going to be able to show you this in this game and prove to you why you should all go ahead and pick him up. I think I've said it so many times before, but it is true. I can't stress it enough. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the two centre backs. So the first one, we could have easily put in like Sergio Ramos on here. Um, but I did decide against it. I've decided to go for, let's go for, uh, we've got Fernandez, and then we've also got Rafael Varane. Um, so these two centre-backs obviously have pretty decent pace, as you can see. Varane is just an all-out better centre-back than him. He's got four, he's four ratings higher, so it's to be expected. Um, but yeah, the reason I like Fernandez is because uh, he's got a decent bit of pace. He's got 81 defending, 79, 78 physical is not too bad. Um, I know he's not the smallest of smallest of. Uh, I mean, I know he's not the tallest of centre backs, but he still can do a job, and I think he's quite nimble in there. So I think he's very much got a very worthy of his spot uh, in that left centre back spot. Um, and anyway, you guys will see what it's like in the game at the end as well. Uh, and obviously, right back, right centre back, we've got Rafa Varane. 84 defending, 79 physical, 79 pace. I mean, we know how good this guy is. He's fantastic. So uh, to finish the team off, we have got Ter Stegen in goal. One of the better La Liga centre uh, goalkeepers as well. Um, could have really gone for any of them. I mean, to be honest, let's have a look. All Black is, I think, is the highest one. Yeah, I mean. How much is All Black? He's like, what, 40k? Do you know what? I might just upgrade him. I might upgrade my goalkeeper and see how well he plays. Shall I do that? I think it might be a... Eh, should I do that? I've never used Oblak, so I feel like I should. Yeah, we're gonna use Oblak, whatever. Let's do it. We've got an 88 rated goalkeeper in here now, so we're gonna try him out. That was a bit of a spare of the moment thing to do. But there we go, that is the team I've built around um, the two strikers, the Deadly Duo, Human Sun and Gabriel Jesus. Let me know in the comment section below. It's a hybrid, it's got La Liga, it's got BPL, and it's got Serie A in there. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys would have done anything differently. Would you have put a different centre back? Would you have just mixed it up completely? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm really uh, open to hearing all your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive into a game now and check out how good these two strikers are. Let's do this. Okay, so this is our opponent. Okay, this is a very interesting team actually. Pretty... So very no like these are the kind of teams I like in FIFA, like just n not your typical team that you'd come up against. Something a little bit different, and yeah, I really like it. Yarmolenko right wing, uh, Overmars left wing. I think I'm trying to think of that striker's name. I can't remember. I feel like he played in the league Gern previously and had an afro last year. I think he might have played for like Toulouse or something. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, this would be interesting. Let's see how well this team can play. I'm excited to see what this is all about. Let's do this. Oh, go on. Yes, there we go. We've opened the scoring immediately, haven't we? Of course we have. Hugh son, Gabriel Jesus, partnering up, doing a little flipping uh, celebration. And yeah, just an easy finish in the end. Inside three minutes. Look at this. Lovely run through the through the legs. First time finished. Beautiful. Go on, lovely run there by Nathaniel Klein. Cut it inside, and again maybe. Pretty poor. Oh, why? Why is that not passed to Ericsson? For God's sake, that would have been perfect. 
That's so I could have easily been 2 0 up there. That was like an absolute sitter as well if the board had been played through. Wow. Okay, I can only like. I can't really complain about um, conceding that. That was an absolutely incredible goal from Divock Origi. Jesus, man. That was some strike. I need to try out that. Uh, that path to glory card of his because that was absolutely insane that strike like he was causing a bit of trouble in the game anyway and now he's done that it makes me think you know what go on oh I was about to say anything Divock Origi can do Gabriel Hayes can do better <laughs> but unfortunately he didn't come in Go on. Yes, Gulam. Look, that, that's what I'm talking about. Great defending. Look at that. Go on, Nacho. Oh, okay. Wow, nine goal and smashed that in as well. Right, we need to sort this out. This is not good at all. Oh, no. Go on. Finish that. Yes, what a goal. Gabriel Jesus. What a lovely ball as well. I think that was from Christian Eriksen. Um, just a fantastic ball. Completely done the defender. They wasn't expecting it at all. And a fantastic first time finish. Look at this. Eriksen, little dink over. Defenders have none of it. On the half volley into the top right hand corner. Beautiful stuff. Goal just before half time. We kind of—I didn't really think we deserved to be two-one down anyway, or losing. We start the game pretty well. There we go. Anyway, that's half time. Um, let's go and have a quick look at the half time stats. So yeah, it's been pretty even to be fair. Nothing has really edged it too much. I mean, like, you can't really say two more shots on target has been like dominant. So it's been pretty even. Let's dive into the second half and hopefully we can come out with a win. Go on, look at this. Beautiful. No, what? Why is why is he just left the ball? Can that's just a joke? Go on, go on, Ericsson. Here we are. What? No, that was such a poor finish from me. Go on, win it, win it. Oh no, we blocked it. We blocked the ball though. To be fair. Go on, here we are. Finish. Oh my god, the block. That was going in. I can tell you. Oh my god, man. So unlucky. I thought we'd got the goal there. Well, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go attacking and see what we can do. Hopefully, uh, we don't concede here. Because that would be... Poor. Come on, lads. Let's go. Here we are. Go on, lads. Go on. No. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. That strike. Okay, we've got a corner. We've got a corner, at least. Can... We get this in the back of the net. Alan. Okay, so unfortunately the game has ended as a draw, but I can 100% say that, that deadly duo is absolutely fantastic. Both of them got on the score sheet. Both of them played fantastically. 9.2 rating for Jesus, 8.8 for Human Sun. So there are the, well, the front three with the three highest rated players in the team. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below any other players you guys would like to see an episode of Deadly, Deadly, Deadly Duo on, um, and I'll get it sorted, whether it be a centre-back pairing, a centre-mid pairing, whatever you want, and I'll do it. Um, so yeah, so if you guys are new around here, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.